好你。I'm just getting my shit together after the doctors. I'm also nosing my way through this box of treats my mate in America sent me. It was alright, it was just a checkup more than anything else. Yeah, I just noticed something really weird in this box. Make a start, but I'll show you this. So, put my camera in a weird place. There. Must have got knocked or something. So, this was in the box that they sent me. Elpis Soda. I thought, oh, it's white, it's going to be like lychee soda or something like that. No. You might not be able to see what that says. But it has milk in it. So a refreshing blend of sweet and tangy fruits with cultured milk. Oh yeah, they also sent me Jolly Ranchers. Anybody ever wants to bribe me for anything, use Jolly Ranchers to do it and I'll do it straight away. Anyway, on to the Dark Souls. So, last time I had just beaten Moonlight Butterfly. Means we're at this bonfire. And we had gotten a key as well. Which was... Where is it? Not that one. Oh, which one it is now. Oh yeah, Watchtower Basement Key. Key to the basement of the Watchtower in the Undead Burg. The basement of the Watchtower forms a stone cell that are rumours of a hero turned hollow who was locked away by a dear friend. Free zone good, of course. So we're going to go and see what that is. So we're going to head to Undead Burg before we do any more of the forest. It means going back to... Oh, it'll be closer. Yeah, filing is going to be closest to it. So, back at filing shrine, and we will make our way this way. Because we've got to set, head to that tower where we fought the Taurus demon all that time ago. Oh yeah, Moglin's down here now. We're going to say hello to Moglin while we're here. There we go. And he dropped the battle axe for us. Now I'll try not to screw up this jump, but... You can see a guy sat down over there in the weirdest of places. So over here we have Morgan, who used to live in the depths. I'm going to ring a sacrifice. Morgan is cool. He I sells boss stuff. I didn't expect to meet anybody here. I suppose great minds think alike, eh? <laughs> and he's Welsh, apparently. 
Great minds think alike, eh? And he sells the master key. So yeah, if you ever want to get the master key mid playthrough, you can get it after you've done the depths. And Morglin will move here and you can buy the master key from him. Costs you five grand and he sells crystal stuff as well. Because I've been through Duke's archives. He sells a bunch of arrows, but he sells armour. So we've got the armour that he's wearing. We've got the iron golem set. We've got Smo set, because we did the fight that way around. We've got Gwendolyn set from fighting Gwendolyn. And we've got Artorius' set for fighting Artorius. Well, that is a shame then. But no matter. No, not to worry. Come not back to again. worry. I'm always available. Not every trade was meant to be. There'll be more in store for us. Someday. Sometime. Yeah. But yeah, the more bosses you beat, the more stuff that guy has to give you. Now, can I make the jump back without fucking it up? There. Hi back. Yeah. He's a, a trader. You meet him when you go into the depths after you've beat the gaping dragon. Um, or before you meet, beat the gaping dragon actually. He's like in that bit that leads down. And after he leaves there he goes under this bridge. But he's the guy who sells the boss armour. So like when you beat certain bosses he sells their armour, like he's got Artorias' stuff on him at the moment and Smo's stuff and a couple of others. So we're heading this way because I got a key to the bottom of a suspicious tower. Head this way. And I have so much health and so much armor there that I literally give no shits about these guys. There. Got the Hollow Warrior Helm. <gasps> Thank you, man. Four months already, BB. Trouble for love, trouble for love. Oh, four months. You're all crazy. And let me make sure. Could you hear that alert then? I want to make sure I didn't break them when I was messing with them the other day. <laughs> oh, it works. Oops. Yeah, I messed around with my alerts a bit and I worked out why they weren't recording. Oh, this Black Knight's still down here and never killed him. So I worked out why they weren't uh, recording and it's because they're they are on a separate audio track. I have to set them to be controlled by OBS for it to work properly. Oh, Blue Tear Stone Ring. So that one is... What does Blue Tear Stone do? Boost defense while your HP's low. And yeah, that dink sound. It sounds so dumb. Considering the size of the weapon. It just goes dink. Right, so this key that we got unlocks this. The watchtower basement. And if we go down here, 
We shall see somebody with a very familiar looking weapon. Wherever he's hiding, see right at the bottom. Come on, where are you? Yeah, he must be right at the bottom of it. So we've got a door, a little weapon he's got. This is Havel the Rock. Gone hollow because he was just left here, but look, he does as much damage to me as I do to him. Thank you, Bart. Hi. Got him. Hi, Bart. So yeah, that was the jewel of the big smashes, and from him we get his ring. Now, everybody loves Havel's ring. Like, I don't particularly need it, but it boosts your equipment load a ton. For Havel's ring, this ring was named after Havel the Rock, Lord Gwyn's old battlefield compatriot. Havel's men were the ring to express faith in their leader and to carry a heavier load. Because everything that guy wore weighed a ton. And now this leads out to Duckroot Base. Over there is where we went and found Dusk. And yeah, I shall have the new emotes ready soon as well. Like the guy messaged me again today about them. Just about some colours and stuff. So I am hoping to have them ready and uploaded before the 24 hour stream. So I got my fingers crossed. Right, where's the quickest bonfire from here? Oh, it's going to be back down this way, isn't it? In fact, no. Even easier, I've got homeward bones on me. And because I didn't sit down, this should take me straight back to the forest. Yeah, it did. Sorted. So. Into the forest we go. And here we have... Members of the Forest Covenant. Sneaky bastards. These guys will be all over this place. And I am on time. On I say on time, online this time as well. So there is every possibility I might get invaded while I'm down here. Because this is like... Whoop. Wizard. Where is he? Can I get a backstab? Yeah. Or a backsplat as it really is. So yeah, this is the Forest Covenant. They don't like people being in here. So they come after you. And there's a lot of them. Now we've got more trees. So, where was it I needed to go in here? I'm sure I can hear more people as well. So we've got a bit of a lake. More of you guys. Bunch of them. Some more moss clumps. They always come in handy. Right, the lights are over there, so let's go around the edge first and see what we find. Apart from more tree men. I messed that up. Eh. Splat. 
Right, what is this item going to be? Oh, it's the Eastern set. So this is the the anime armor. Eastern gauntlets, Eastern leggings. And you get like a vague samurai look from it. I can actually wear it without too much trouble as well. But this stuff is upgraded, so I don't know when we upgraded things. Right then. Continue further around the edge. Because I can't remember exactly where I'm supposed to go here. This looks suspiciously like another trap. I can hear the waterfall as well. Come here. over this way. Oh, we're right above where the Hydra was. So the Hydra would have been down there. Yeah, down that way. So what's over here? This place is actually massive. myself a second then I thought I'd fallen down a hole. So this is the bridge bit we found before. So there's the ladder that leads down to where the Hydra was. So I'm assuming this is going to be progress because it's kind of a shortcut. Uh, what's that in the distance? It looks like a big cat. <laughs> yep, it is a big cat. Doesn't look happy with us. Doesn't sound happy with us either. Angry kitty. Right, we'll go back across the bridge. Make sure I've not missed anything important on the other side. But with something that big there, that's probably going to be progress. Hydra these nuts. That mellow emote, emote is so cute. Bit of a maze through these trees. So this is just cliff edge. Ah, huh, somebody with a bow. Cheeky. And somebody heavily armoured. Oh look, he's stuck. And splat. These must be all the Forest Covenant guys. Not running away. There. I will just poise through all your stuff. Oh, we got a bow. And a hat. Ferris's hats. Broad brimmed hat favoured by the archer hero of Ferris. Ferris was an accomplished archer. Although he was a human, he ranked alongside Hawkeye Goth as one of 
one of the four knights of Lord Gwyn. His hat is universally popular among children. Oh. And then there's his bow. Has a longer range than standard bows, but is more difficult to use. Without proper abilities, results will be underwhelming. So yeah, you need like 18 decks to use that thing. It's a pretty cool bow though. And here we have a building. With... Somebody trying to sneak up on me. Stop it. And I think these are all NPCs, but I... Yep. You can actually get invaded by other players in this area. I am just going to flatten them all. Or try to, anyway. What is in the building? Cat! Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Yeah, she's part well, of the Covenant indeed. things. Thou art a strange one. You're dead, Mom. I feel some liking for no, I'm alive. I'm Alvina for now. of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defilers of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt mm. thou not join us? Oh, it's the, the big yes. PvP covenant as well, just like the automatic invasions. So, yeah, let's join. I am very glad. And now thou art one of us. Let us establish a covenant. Yeah, right. And here, if Cat. thou wearest that ring, it allows for thine summoning. If mine senses reveal intruders, then I will summon thee. Fend them off, sir. I beseech only this. I shall summon others who will, by their honor, work tirelessly with thee. Thou shalt receive great reward, and whatsoever ye shall pillage will be thine own. A true agreement, not so. But thou must heed the golden rule. The clan is thine own family. To thine kinsmen forever stay true. Darest not in any attempt to double cross. Have no doubt, such wretchedness never will we tolerate. So yeah, the ring that she's just given us. Ring granted to those bound by the Forest Hunter Covenant, answer Alvina's summoning. The white cat Alvina speaks a human tongue and has lived since the early age of fire. Alvina was a trusted friend of Knight Artorius and the Great Wolf Sif. So yeah, you put that ring on and whenever you're in these woods or in Dark Root Garden, you can get automatically summoned to invade other people. And there's something like that in... Am I stuck? I was stuck for a second then. But yeah, there's an area like that in every Dark Souls game. And this is the Dark Souls 1 version of it. Now, where was I going to? Hoy oh, stuck. I hear footsteps. Hey, mine. No, they're not. <gasps> it's these guys! What are you doing up here? If your little ones are around, that should be, means there should be a big one around here somewhere as well. Oh, 
for a little one. Gold pine resin. And that over there looks like a door. So this, if it's the door I'm thinking of, yeah it is. So there is a reason I did the DLC before coming here. And it's only a small reason, but now you'll get to see it. So, let's open the door, see what's in here, shall we? We have a big empty space. So what does this message say? Sorrow ahead. And there we have a familiar looking sword against a grave. And now we get the special cutscene, or we should, if I've done it right. Hey there. Sif remembers us. So yeah, that was the special part of the cutscene. And it's just that because you fight alongside Sif in the past um, to fight against Manus. Sif remembers you when you come here. And doesn't want to fight you but has to because them's the rules. I don't really want to fight Sif either. If there was a way to do this without fighting Sif I would do it. I'm sorry, Sid. I didn't want to. So we get Covenant of Artorius, Soul of Sif, Humanity and a Homeward Bone. So, Covenant of Artorius is... This ring symbolises Nart Artorius's covenant with the Beasts of the Abyss. It's where, like Artorius himself, can traverse the abyss. Right. Homeward bone again. Oh, I've got Firekeeper's soul. I forgot about that. So. We'll put Sif's soul safe and sound in the box. Um, we'll get these out just in case. And I need to put some bits of armour and stuff away. And then we had the Eastern Armour set that we picked up as well. There we go.
nothing. I've just done Sith. Um, so I was just dumping stuff in there to keep it organised. So now we're going to Fire Link again. Got to hand in that Firekeeper Soul. Level up a little bit more. And then head down to New Londor. Yeah, we will use... Is it a hero? Should be enough for it. There we go. Right. So we have a little firekeeper down here. What I've got. Thank you. And now we've got to go and beat up some ghosts. So there's like three ways you can fight against these guys an item you can pick up which I'm gonna grab when we get down there called a transient curse and that lets any weapon you're wielding hit them the second way you can do it is you can actually just go and get your character cursed and that will let you hit them all or the third way to do it is to use a cursed weapon of which there's only like three in the entire game one of them being Artorius's great sword. Right, let's see what this guy has to say. We've not seen him for a while. Is that an ember? Oh, I'm sorry. We're Vinheim don't deal in shoddy embers. Hi, Maeve. There goes. Perhaps you should try an old smith out in the country. You've uh, arrived with us, like getting towards the end of the game as well. So nothing to read. Uh, armor. Just the helmet. And what items do we have to buy? He's still just got spells and stuff, doesn't he? So yeah, we're on our way to go and beat up some ghosts now. That is the plan. Come back, smithing help. Don't let. So yeah, he has not got anything new for us. So we're going to head in this direction. Um. I've died a chunk in points, but nowhere near as much as Div has. But I have played this game before, even if it was quite a while ago. So it's in here, the item, I think. There we go. Transient Curse, that's what we need. So, go across these flimsy bridges. And on this side, we'll start seeing ghosts everywhere. There's one. Right, need to use this item quick. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Too late, grabbed me. Or did I use the item in time? I'm not sure. We shall find out now. I did not use the item in time. Uh... <laughs> Did it even work? I'm not sure I even heard it then. Right. Ooh. Right, I have. Now it works. Now I can fight the ghosts. Right. I need to look where I'm going because I can quite easily just fall to my death up here.
and like ghosts can come up out of the floor and all sorts. So, tiny path. Oh, ghosts. One behind me as well. Oh, another catfire keeper soul. Ah. Nope. Oops. I have only played this once before, and it was years and years ago. But I have played the other Dark Souls games as well. Um, I'm sure it's the woman that sells those curses. Is it the one up here who sells them? Yeah, I've played Dark Souls 1 once before, but I've played Dark Souls 2 at least twice, and I've played Dark Souls 3 about four times. Stupid thing. Go dink, dink, dink. Right, so there should be a vendor woman all the way down here somewhere. I think she might sell curses. Yeah, randomizers are crazy. So she has moss. Dung pies. Yes, she does have transient curses. She's only got the one. But it is one more, at least. So I'm gonna buy it. Yeah, randomizers are crazy. I've seen a couple of them. Oh, I need four thousand, don't I? Um. There's a great one somebody did where it randomised the enemies um, and the bosses, but bosses were always still at boss locations and oh no, I'm holding one, I'm being dim and uh, it was still regular enemies in the other locations but it was like you could go up to the first boss and the first boss would be like one of the later game ones. Right, how many can we get? Three. She sold out of them now. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, items were randomised as well. But he was getting like keys in weird locations and picking up odd weapons like straight away. Some of those are great fun. But some of them you can do on console as well with save editing. So I am tempted to go and do one for Bloodborne at some point, like after I've played through Bloodborne again. I am also tempted at some point, there is a... an extension for Twitch called... Uh, oh, I've got the name of it again now. But it lets... Uh, viewers spend points to mess with the game and it works with Dark Souls 1 so they can like be nice and spend points to give me say like infinite stamina for a short amount of time or even make me invulnerable for a short amount of time 
but they can do other stuff like curse my character or double the amount of damage I take and things like that. Fight more ghosts. So use it here this time so I'm not running around in circles like a Muppet. My souls are over there, but I'm not bothered by those. There's only a few of them. Come here, ghosty. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Right, what's on this side? Anything around here? Does not look like it. Oh! There's a man in a jar. What do you have on you? More transient curses. They will come in handy. Did I get everything over this way? I did. I think it's just the walkway over there, innit? So now we go up. I'm going to watch for ghosts coming through the walls because I know they can do that. Like that. Coming up out of the floor. So that's on the other side. I'm... No. Hey boy. I'm doing alright. Went to the doctors for my checkup and now I am just dicking around with this. Oi! Not nice. Sneaking up on me as well. Um, it's just like an annual checkup. Supposed to have one every year. Right, that doesn't move yet, so that's going to be a shortcut. In it. Um, all right at it. Like there are people who are much, much, much better at it than I am. They can do things what are called like uh, collapse patterns. But um. I'm okay at it, I would say. Stop that. Oh. Oh, I thought that might be like a hidden door or something then, but apparently not. And yeah, it's like an annual thing in the UK. Like, you have an appointment with your doctor at least once in a year. Or you're supposed to anyway. Just to make sure everything's going okay, that no new problems have cropped up or anything like that. Like I go, or I try and make sure I go every time because I've got asthma and I've got hay fever and stuff. So they can go alright. Ah! Screamed at me. Yeah, do you still have like like appointments to go and see them like regularly and stuff or is it just 
whenever you're not feeling right. Got a ladder. Where does the ladder go? Ladder is a shortcut. Where is it a shortcut to? Is it actually a shortcut? Eh! Another one. Right, I tell you what, if you want to fight, you can come over here. Where I can hit you. Nope! It's twice I've walked off the edge now. Just rock up and go, I'm broken. Everything is broken. Ah. Yeah, I generally go and they'll go, All right, is your asthma any worse or is it any better? Um, I am making my way to the Four Kings, Danny, but I keep walking off because I'm an idiot. Like, I killed, got Sif at the beginning of the stream, and got the fancy cutscene for doing the DLC first, which is just Sif looking sad because she remembers you. And now I am making my way to the Four Kings, but I'm going to deal with all this ghost bullshit first. Fucking four kings. Right, remember to use this first this time. So I've fallen off twice so far. Look at you. Yeah, you missed Sif. It was right at the start of the stream. I say right at the start. I went and killed Havel, then I went and killed Sif. <laughs> Poor Dave. Oh, that's where the other one is. Hey! Stop that. Do I have anything ranged on me? No, I don't. Yeah, it's extra sad if you do the DLC stuff as well, because... The beginning bit where Sif appears... She sort of pounces on you and looks at you and whimpers a bit after sniffing you. Eh. Oi. There. Now we go down the steps. Uh, that was completely the wrong item then. Oh well. Just take these off my bar. I can't remember how to get to that chest. 
unless it's like all the way around or something. Right. Where was I going? Oh, that's the way I came in. This is where the item... I've just gone round in a circle. <laughs> Poor Dave. Right. So this is just... I'm being dumb. Right, this way. And you go up this. You've got that one up the top, which is going to come down. Get here. And there's another one. Is there another one at the end? Apparently not. We've got one underneath. You gonna come up now? Or you just gonna piss around down the bottom, aren't you? Out right there. It's another one. Tell you what, let's just go to the other side and see if it follows me up. Gonna follow me or not? Apparently not. And then this leads to the underneath bit. Yeah, that's the underneath bit I was looking at, so we need to go around here. Um I can always give it a go. Like, whoa, it's a bunch of them. Yeah, I can always give it a go, Dave. Like, somebody's bound to do it at some point, so I might be able to find a pattern to help. Hi, Charles. Yeah, getting my ass kicked by ghosts and small ledges. Did I at least remember to send the lift up this time? Yeah, I did. Yeah, unfortunately it's the only real upgraded weapon I've got. I've got this and the greatsword. Right then. Although I've not got as much exploring to do this time. <laughs> yeah, I, will, I can always look up patterns and stuff if I need to find someone to help me with the design for it. Like the only ones I ever have problem with really are collapse patterns because they just do not work right in my head. Like you do a ton of folds on a single piece of paper and then you unfold it all and just kind of scrunch it up and it turns into what you want. I can never get it to work properly. So, this was the trap one. There. 
And then we got this one again. This one that comes out the wall. Dropped an item. Two transient curses, they'll come in handy. So this is where they come up through the floor and shit, isn't it? Like that one. Right, come towards me. There. And there was a second one, wasn't there? Yeah. And the second one just sort of pissed around. So now we're going to go to where I just died and try not to get murdered again. So I'm going to go up this way a bit this time. Or I was going to. Ah, they come up out of the water. That's where they were. Cheeky buggers. Like, that's just not fair. Get away. So if I head this way a bit more, the ones that were in the water should come back. Shouldn't they? Yes. So come a bit closer, so I can actually hit you. Because... There. Now we can go in here and... Fight all the other stupid ones. So this leads down... Wait, another one. Stop being so high. Get down here. Stop it. Just come here so I can hit you. Now. There. Pain in the ass. Right. Stairs up. Stairs down. Green Titanite Shard. Completely worthless. Ah, uh, my transient curse has run out. So. Yeah, that's the tail end of a ghost I can see. Large soul of an aimless soldier. Got another tower over here. More steps. What's in this tower? Oh, I think I know what this tower is. Contraption does not move. need a key. What's further up the tower? I am expecting more traps. And ghosts everywhere. Nope. Composite bow and a large arrow. Oh, that's where all the drakes are. Now I know where I am. So, 
let's go back into this building. I'm sure there's ghosts in there, I think I can hear them. But oh, right first. Anybody here? Yeah, at least one ghost. Two ghosts. More of yours. And a room covered in ick. What's that scream for? We got... Got a ladder and a chimney. What was that sound? Another one. There. Now let's try going up the ladder. I think there should be a friend up here if I remember right. Yeah, there is. Hello. All right, dude. Oh, this is a surprise. I get few visitors, save for ghosts. See you a bit, Dave. Have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. It's I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. Ah, that was easy. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the night art... Yeah, you say that, but it was me who did it. If you can find him... And learn from him. The abyss may prove surmountable. Already done. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal. Oh, so he sells these as well. And he sells them for cheaper than the other person did. New Londo was sat mark my words. The dark wraiths are the enemies of man. Dark wraiths are cool. Thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. I forget that guy's name as well. I think it's something like Ingwood. Right, so that's this bit taken care of. What was through here? Or does it all just go in a circle? Oh, an item. And a trap that didn't work. Come on, Ghosty. How did that miss? Ah. And we get a grab attack as well. Not the grab attack as much. Oh, curse ran out. That's why it's not working. Ah. Uh... Use this. There. Get splatted. Right. So now we go back up here. So now we have the key to that door. And we can open the floodgates.
Oh yeah, there's an item along here as well. What item do we have? A single humanity. There's items on this roof. We have a rare ring of sacrifice. Cool. That works against curse as well. Right. What's in here? Oh, it's just this room. Right. So we need to make our way back to the second tower that had... Not that way. The second tower that had the gate in it. I just can remember which way that is. That way. Up and left. Just open these floodgates, shall we? There we go. A new Londo water park is open for business. Remember, right, this should work now. There's the lever there. Winner! Just in case. Now, what I don't remember is if there's a bonfire or anything down here. Look at all these dead bodies. The floor here is literally made of them. I hear armor. Ah, we have a dark wraith. These guys are cool. But not much of a challenge. So yeah, this is where all the drakes are. That there leads out, and if you follow it round that way, it leads you back to Filing Shrine. So yeah, train to the lake. Yeah, they are they are a pain. Like big smashy weapon like I've got is actually the best thing to deal with them, especially if you've got a wide swinging one like the Great Sword or something. Although the other thing in here is just as bad. Dun 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 dun. We got an item. There he is, sneaky fucker. It's a shield as well. Although not a very good one. Anything around here? have not a boss just an annoying blob and this guy got heavy attacks for these dudes right spawn here Are there any more before I attack the horrible blob Horrible blob!
There, that's that thing dealt with. Ah, oh, there you are. Thought I heard footsteps. Bum, 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 bum. So, your progress, I think. Let's go this way. Oh, a lift. Where does this go? Oh, it's this shortcut. Cool. Send you back up. So what was on this side of it then? Is this actually progress or is it blocked off or something? No, it's progress. Ah, this was the other item that I saw. So a lot of a brave warrior. And this way. I'm sure I can hear a ghost. Anything down here? Yeah, if you haven't noticed yet, I am a compulsive explorer in games like this. I just go all over the place. Good chest. Is it good chest or bad chest? Good chest. Very large ember. Ah, uh, that's what you need for like the maximum upgrades. Um, the four kings, yes. If I find where they are, I'm going to do them. I just can't remember which way to go. Yeah, Abyss Watchers is Dark Souls 3. I know what he means. So that wasn't progress, that was just like an extra bit for the ember. <laughs> so instead we go. See what's around here. Yeah, this looks like the right way. We've got ominous wide open spaces. Items that look obviously like a trap. Ooh. Didn't even see where he came from. this way first. Anything interesting? Nope. Right, time to try the left side. It's definitely an item this way. Two items. And a well. Cracked red orbs for invading. I hear more running. There you are.
It's down here. If anything. Ah, oh, this just leads over to the tracks again. So we've got up these steps. Is that another blobby thing? Another dark wraith at least. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I might even go for a Gwyn today if I get enough time. Right, it's not impossible. Oop. Went a bit too close then. Oh, that was him making another head. Die. There. Check the rest of the room. We have a chest. It is a good chest. Tinite chunk. I need those. The last thing I need to upgrade my helmet. I say helmet. My cloth sack. Whoop. You ain't gonna dark hand me, boy. So, nothing here. This is going to be the boss fog then, isn't it? If I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. Right, let's put the ring on before I die. Take these off. We need Artorius. We go down the steps to go and fight the four kings. Now, this hammer does give me magic resist, so I should be alright against the four kings. But it is a DPS rush, so we'll see. Leap of faith! Um, boom, we're in the abyss. Now, where are you? Been to the abyss before. There he is. Me boy. Deceptive range. Yeah, I'm not doing too much to them. This is going to hurt. Oh no, it's not too bad. Second one's in already. Time to play catch up. Get 
three in yet? Yeah, he is. him to do that screen. Right, where is number four? There you is. Alright, so that thing's going to pretty much hit me regardless. But my magic resist helps with it. Tell you what, I'm just going to bash you. There we go. Now, his other friend here. So there is bonfire. Will the other guy show up? I don't think he will. Not to like it. So he has bonfire lit. Got no other points of endurance, and some more rubbish to put away. And there it is, just to run to the final boss. Hand in that firekeeper soul. Um, I will see if I can do the upgrade for my helmet as well, just to round it off. Away. Right then, um, let's get our asses to Firelink. We will make one last visit to Andre, and then we will try and make our way to the final boss. Oh yeah, uh, swap my ring back. End game! Uh, what do I want? Yeah, Chloranthi. The stab stamina is more useful for me than anything else. So yeah, I'm only doing this to see if I can upgrade my uh, cloth pod up to full. So I think I need one chunk for it, which I've got. But then I will hand in my final Firekeeper Soul, bump up the Aestus, and then go and fight the boss man himself. following me. Usually don't follow you this far. All the way down here. Oh yeah, we can give him the biggest ember as well. Well, I'll be. 
That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years in the trade, that might be the finest. How's about... You leave that ember with me. I'm just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. All right. You can have it. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. So, nothing for weapon, reinforced armor, sack. We needed two chunks. We've got two. The sack is now plus ten. What was that Bart? Kill Andre. Um, let's make sure he's not got anything I actually want. Don't get you. neither of us want to You got some nerve coming at the There you go, Bart. I get three humanity and a blacksmith hammer. What is a blacksmith hammer? <laughs> Metal hammer of Andre Vastora, blacksmith at the old church. Can be used as a strike weapon, but better left in the hands of its talented owner. He shares, it's what? No, he doesn't respawn. He's dead for life now. But it is a common thing people do in Souls games when you know you're going to the last boss. Because it's going to dump me in... New game plus as soon as the bat last boss is done. You just go around and kill all the NPCs to get the stuff off them before you go. Because there are certain items you can only get from killing the NPC for it. So like you get to the very very last boss and then just go on a murder spree and kill everything. And yeah, you can get the weapon up to, I think it's plus, might even be plus 10 yourself. You only need, you only need the blacksmith to be going up to like plus 15 or something with the standard weapons. So my great sword's at plus 10. With that ember I've just given, I could have got him to plus 15. What is that sound? That was not a sound I recognise. It seemed to be centred on me as well. Weird. this away. Pull up warrior armor. Soldier armor. That appears to be all of it. Right. Head back to Firelink. Watch what there. Yeah, I have no idea what that sound was. I didn't recognize it. It could be... No, it could be the judgment, actually. For, like... Killing a NPC because you get sin for killing NPCs. Work knife. Right. Let's head on our way. This guy buggered off because I annoyed him, so we've got to jump down ourselves now. Bloop. And now we shall put all of them in. Uh, 
Um, should I level up? Nah, 90 is a nice round number. We'll keep it there. Offer souls. All of the souls. Now we have this cool bit. Where we have ghosts. And not the mean ghosts that try to attack us either. These are ghosts of Gwyn's knights. Oh, you can walk off the edge. Oh well. That tests that theory. <laughs> And it drops back here. So yeah, these are ghosts of Gwyn's knights. And I think it's supposed to be implied they're like marching off to battle, seeing as they've all got their shields at the ready. And now we go to here. Kiln of the First Flame. It's all covered in ash. There are also a few knights down here. And yeah, some horribly melted bits as well. Uh oh. This one's seen us. Yeah, these guys are tw quite tough. I never did learn how to backstab them properly. Oh, there. Apparently backstabbing them is the easiest way to deal with them. And I got another Titanite chunk. Not that I need it. Yeah, parrying and backstabbing them is apparently the easiest thing to do with these guys. I am not very good at either. So, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> that didn't work. He's got a great sword as well. Nice. That worked. And I got a Black Knight shield. Probably the best shield in the game. 100 physical reduction, 25 magic, 95 fire. 65 lightning only requires 16 strength. Shield of the Black Knights that wander Lordran. A flowing canal is chiseled deeply into its face. Long ago, Black Knights faced the Chaos Demons and were charred black, but their shields became highly resistant to fire. And yeah, that is probably one of the best shields in the game. I don't remember there being any items in here. If I remember right, it is just knights to fight against. Oh, there is a knight. But this guy is coming to say hello, so... Backstab! Oh, that's where you get the Black Knight set. That makes sense. You can hear it's very windy as well. So, normally... Well, I say normally. If you've done all of Solaire's storyline, story Solaire's summon sign is here for you to call in his help for Gwyn. 
but I've murdered Slayer this playthrough, so he's not there. And yeah, the first time I actually did this, I did it with Slayer. I've not done this fight solo, so it could be interesting. Right, let's try and get the backstab again. And then splat! A white titanite chunk. Again, for holy weapons. And magic as well, I think. Ow! You dealt with blue titanite chunk. Right then, is there anything over here? Blue underscore? Blue underscore? Right, Kelly, you got here just in time to see the very last boss of the game. And my first attempt against him. So I'm going to get put the Elizabeth mushrooms on, because they are useful. Let's give him a go, shall we? He has the best theme tune as well, easily. So that's a three combo. Can I heal? Oh, it's a four combo as well, is it? Who underscore? Who underscore? Who underscore? Who underscore? Blue underscore, 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 blue underscore. I need to actually got me. Kelly. Didn't do bad for my first try. This is probably going to take me a few more tries to get him. But shouldn't be too bad. Now I wonder, this knight over here... Can I run along this stone and get a stupid drop attack on him? No, but I could jump on his head for three damage. Right, these guys are just going to get backstabbed. Backstab and a charged heavy is enough to take them out. I've just got to make sure I actually get the dodge roll in first. Should bring it in here and I'll show them. Red chunk. Your chamber hat. Yeah, it arrived this morning. It arrived at like just past seven o'clock. So you were lucky I was awake to get it. You come along to this wider bit. Yeah. Tell you what, that works. It wasn't a backstab, but
right then. Come on, Axe Man. Stop doing the quick turn. Ow! Hey, I got his axe. Blue Titanite chunk. Yeah. Tell you what, we'll put the laser mushroom on as my first heal. Because that does constantly over time. No grab, please. That was one too many. Stop trying to grab me. Oh, the Elizabeth Mushroom is actually really good. Oh, you got stunned. So, two tries. Nobody tell Dave, he'll get really angry. So I have two options now. We have the bonfire over here. Or I can walk out the door. If I light the bonfire, I will link the flame and extend the age of fire for the gods. But the gods are cunts, so I'm not doing that. We're going this way instead. My lord, bless thy safe return. There we go. I am now the Lord of Darkness. We are here to serve your highness. Of course, wearing the perfect helmet for this bit. <laughs> and that was Dark Souls 1. All of it. So Kelly has just brought this in as well for me to show you. Here is our chamber hat. Arrived this morning. It's pretty cool. So yeah, that is Dark Souls 1. And I was expecting to take a lot more, more tries than that for, uh, for Gwyn, to be honest. There you go. So yeah, Dark Souls 2 is the next one. Um, time is it? Nearly 8 o'clock. Now, do I start Dark Souls 2 now or do I just dick around for a bit? Because I was planning on going till like half 8. Yeah, I uh, I think I was just better prepared this time. Like I know the first time I did Gwyn, um, I got absolutely hammered by him, but because I had Solaire with me, Solaire distracted him for a bit, giving me time to heal. But 
but yeah, can't, we, we have gone for the alternate ending, like the canon ending for it is you linking the flame. And then that rolls into Dark Souls 2 and what happens there. I think I might dive straight into the beginning of Dark Souls 2. Now we have this done. Because this is just going to chuck me straight into New Game Plus. So we can exit this, and I, I will at least make my character in Dark Souls 2. Or I can show you my original character, because I've still got that save from when I was like a pure wizard. And then I will finish at 8 o'clock, I'll finish a bit earlier than I expected to. There we go. So, this drops us straight back in at the intro cut scene. But, I have all my armour and everything. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brand. So yeah, drops you straight in here with all your stuff. You don't get a chance to choose what to do. So, that is you done. I might do like new game plus in my own time, like on this on um, Discord or something when I get bored. So, da -da 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 -da, close you. We have Dark Souls 2. It's a Dark Souls 2. There. And I do have the Scholar of the First Sin edition, so it's after all the updates and stuff. Go. So I am playing as me. I will show you the character I beat this game with last, actually. Because he is named after my first ever Dungeons and Dragons character. So we'll continue with Chalk Green. He was a wizard in Dungeons and Dragons as well. So this is Chuck. Chuck is a wizard. He's also the king, he's got a crown and everything. And I've got some crazy spells, so... Soul Mass. Everybody loves Soul Mass. You just cast it, it stays above your head and it hammers into stuff. The crystal magic weapon, use that. Make your weapon into a crazy ass crystal version. You've got great heavy soul arrow. Which is that crazy thing. You've got soul spear, which is the giant version. And you've got Soul Great Sword, which does this. And you have Soul Flash, which is an explosion centered on you. So this is the guy I beat the game with first. And he is literally a pure wizard. That sword literally only here for if stuff gets close enough to hit me, which it rarely does. Seeing as I've got like 20 odd casts of this bunch of casts of this and that. Yeah that's the buffed version of the sword. I could try and do some PvP. Uh, travel. Where is the best place to go for it? 
because this is our new game plus cycle so I'm not sure where it will drop me um, tell you what should we try invading people here Yeah, this is our new glam plus two, I think. Either plus two or plus three. Um, where is my red eye orbs? I'm going there. I'm going there. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. to use it in this bit. Oh, next, I'm right next to the bonfire, do I have to move in a bit? It's this poor fella. Let's try here. Can't use it here. Oh yeah. So yeah, New Game Plus in Dark Souls 2 had, had extra enemies in as Red Phantoms and that laughing you could hear with them was one of them. Um, let's try to hate, actually. See if we can find anybody on here. Why can I not invade? Why are you not letting me? Oh yeah, um, nullify human energy effect. That's what we need. Now we can use it. Unable to find world. on the bar. Might need to spam it a bit. Put these on the bar as well. This is one of the coolest items they introduced into this. I'm not here. I'm a pot. There's nobody here. Just a random pot waiting in the middle there. don't think we're likely to find anybody because there's bugger all people playing Dark Souls too. Yeah. One last spot to try. Uh, bridge approach is the one. It might just be because my level's too high because this is like new game plus two. Nah, it's not having it. Anyway, this is the character I originally beat the game with. Time to make my new one. We will make him. We will start it off and then. I shall end the stream and go in search of food. But it does mean that next time we roll around to a Dark Souls stream, it's going to be Dark Souls 2. Perhaps you've seen it. Maybe in a dream. 
a murky, forgotten land. Remember to update my stream title stuff while I remember. A place where souls may mend your ailing mind. You will lose everything. Once branded the symbol of the curse, an augur of darkness, your past, your future, your very light. None will have meaning, and you won't even care. By then, you'll be something other than human. A thing that feeds on souls, a hollow. Long ago, in a walled-off land far to the north, a great king built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drang Lake. Perhaps you're familiar. No, how could you be? But one day, you will stand before its decrepit gate without really knowing why. Look, fireflies and lots of dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, having flashbacks, Alex. And here we are. So Dark Souls 2 does something a little bit different. You don't get to make your character straight away. You get dumped in. Not only do you get dumped in, it means it is also possible for you to die before you even make your first you make your character. So this is things betwixt. It is an in-between world. And it is actually down where the arch trees were. So in Dark Souls 1 I went to the bottom of Ash Lake. 
fought the Hydra down there. And there was a dragon hiding down there and you could see all the other trees around. And that's where we are here. And we've got these suspicious look little looking monkey guys here. Just running around in circles. Busted coin. So I think that is a drop item. That increases drop rate on stuff. Yeah, temporarily boosts your luck. So if we head this way, we have a bridge. And there is a path through here, but we're not going to go this way because we'll just die horribly. So we'll go to this house first. <laughs> Hi Ashley. So I have finished Dark Souls 1. This is us starting Dark Souls 2. Seems to be the ruckus. Oh my, your face. The face of the curse. It's an undead. An undead has come to play. <laughs> they all end up here. They're all the ones like you. You spoke to that kind old dear. Didn't you? <laughs> You're finished. You go hollow. Yes, you will become one of them. Hollows prey upon men, feast upon their souls. This is the fate of the curse. <laughs> what is your name? So, oh, I need a good name for a character who is mainly going to be punching things. What's a good name for a character like that? Anybody got any suggestions? We play as Beth then. Let's go for it. Yes, we are called Beth. <laughs> At least you know your own name. <laughs> Here's your reward for sharing. <clears throat> it's a human effigy. Take a closer look. Who do you think it's supposed to be? So now we actually have to look like Beth. Think back. Deep into your past. Because Beth is going to punch everything. Yes. Maybe so do a bit of magic as well. Of you. So class. We're going to go for Swordsman, because I can't actually get the punch weapon straight away, but that will set me up best for it. So I'm not going to bother with a life ring, not going to bother with human effigy, because we get tons of those. Same for Homeward Born, same for Seed of a Tree of Giants. Bonfire Ascetic is for putting an area to New Game Plus. Uh, Petrified Something is just for like extra things at the beginning. So I'm going to go for Healing Wares. Now for the body. We have to make Tiny Beth. Where is the big hair? I 
I don't think it's got one option for that. We've got like only a couple of options. So I'm thinking... Should we give her a stupid pigtails so she'll shout at us? Like, I'm not back in the office yet, so she can't get me just yet. There. Beth with tiny angry eyebrows. <laughs> Beth is a weeb. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, hair color. Um, where's the? Oh no, it's not got height and stuff in this one, does it? No, I don't like it. No, it's just got face stuff. There we go, we have Beth. Beth who will soon punch things. All people come here <laughs> for the same reason. To break the curse. You're no different, I should think. Hmm, doesn't stand a chance. Well, you never know. <laughs> Cheeky old ladies. Go through the door and trot along to the kingdom. But remember, hold on to your souls. They're all that keep you from going hollow. <sighs> oh, I'll fool you no longer. You lose your souls. All of them. Over and over again. <laughs> so, we have Beth, we have our starting class, we get to start with two weapons. straight back out this way and we're going to use this one because pokey attacks are the best so if there is something very useful we're going to try and get up here seeing as we're going to be punching stuff later on this item will come in very handy I've just got to remember how to fight this guy Rapiers are pretty handy. There. And this is what we wanted. So, stone ring. You get to wear four rings in Dark Souls 2. Additional reduction of enemy poise. So, the beloved ring of the gallant shieldless Lothian, formerly of Ferosa. Hits greatly reduce enemy poise. The effect may seem trivial, but for those who comprehend how critical it is to exploit a hole in the en in enemy defences, the significance of, of this ring will be clear. So this means when we're punching people later, it's got a much higher chance to stagger them. And we get some gold pine racing as well. 
And then there is a secret down here. Small, smooth and silky stone. Now let's go and get our first bonfire. And this game has handy stones to tell you what to do. Bonfires are places of respite. You may also light torches on them. So the whole torch mechanic in this game, game was going to be a lot more important than it actually turned out to be. Like there was going to be a whole darkness aspect to the game. So, Luckily inventory management in this version is so much easier. Go in there. There. So, we have our character made. We have Beth. We have our starting stuff, and we've got the one ring that I wanted. So, we shall be ending there for today. So, I will be back tomorrow with some Subnautica. And then on Saturday we have our charity stream. Or on Friday I should say, we're starting on Friday. So I shall see you all then. Or I shall see you tomorrow if you want to come and see some Subnautica. And we shall find somebody to raid, shall we? See who's online. So... Oh look, Chambo is online. Shall we go and see hello to Chambo? And let Kelly tell him she's finally got her ring. Uh, not her ring, her uh, hat. And Charlie's contributing to Fork Knife as well. So yeah, let's go and raid. Let's go and say hello to Chambo. He was doing some more world record attempts on Vic Invictus on Super Mario World, which is that sh stupid hard level but yeah go and say hello to chamber everybody i shall see you tomorrow for subnautica if not well you better be at the charity stream on friday and saturday instead bye everybody